so what what is qubit enables us and car quantum computers are having a speed in qubits because i saw that there are a few quantum computers who are like 5 qubits 7 seven qubits they are like small and it goes you know i i believe that china and ibm have very large qubit models so what are their speeds and you know let's start by what exactly is a qubit So a qubit is just a like we talked about a building block in a a method to conduct computation. And essentially the the reason why a qubit is so much faster than a bit is because a bit can only process information in two dimensions and a qubit can process information in infinite dimensions. And the best way to discuss this is to think about a path planning problem for a robot. So suppose you have a warehouse robot that wants to get from one side of the warehouse to the other side. And what normally robotics would have that robot do is it would go down each of the aisles and essentially all aspects of the maze until it actually finds the uh the exit point, right? Or the end point. But with quantum what it would do is quantum would allow it to analyze all options at once right mm-hmm. and so as a result the amount of efficiency from energy savings the amount of processing that power that is saved is immense and so that's why you have it where qubits are much more powerful um methods of computation or tools of computation than utilizing your uh your bits but to get to the point of the differentiation between the the large numbers of bits IBM recently i think yesterday they just came out with their new uh quantum computer that has i think it like a it might have like a thousand a little over a thousand uh qubits our wow. organization our organization has created simulated quantum computers that have between we've simulated between a million qubits and a billion qubits but we've had to utilize models uh computational models that are inspired by nature and are biologically inspired so to say and so by m- becoming more in tune and more in line with nature we've been able to gain computational efficiencies and optimizations and improvements that we wouldn't been able to have gained had we used normal computation And so for example right now with AI quantum computing is the most impactful we see in the AI field and that's primarily because AI is so energy intensive and computationally intensive. And so what you have to do is quantum almost tricks your computer into thinking that it has these powers that it doesn't or shouldn't naturally have, right? Through things like simulation and and hybrid quantum computing. And so essentially what we're doing is we're taking the capabilities of existing computing and we're extending them using a hybrid quantum uh setup and and essentially meeting the standards in that day when a full quantum not hybrid full quantum computing comes into ubiquitous existence and so quantum computers exist now they're just not ubiquitous because of the normally the the way that they stabilize qubits in order to make them computationally um useful is they freeze these systems and these machines to sub zero temperatures in order to be able to control uh and slow down the natural biological processes right or the quantum processes 